Hello everyone, Trentia here. And Mike Mega here. And welcome to, to Dead Rising 2. I'm, I'm just going to start this up because it's going to take like 13 years to actually get to the point <laughs> where we can play. Yeah. So whatever, just, uh, you know, this is new game plus kind of stuff. We're not leveling up no level zero characters. I don't care. Hit and restart story. I'm going. And, uh, you know, no terrorist reality. So sad. At least with these I'm cool going to cry about it in the comments immediately. Look, scroll down. You see me? I'm shitting up a storm down here. <laughs> How dare you not play Terror's Reality? The Kiji and Afuni game. <laughs> uh, Kiji and Afuni. I, for I, I forgot about that guy. Oh, yeah. I, do you remember? See, in, in, in the month leading up to this game, as a huge Dead Rising 1 fan, like, I literally bought an Xbox 360 because I had a friend in, like, sixth grade who had that game, and he only wanted to play Fusion Frenzy, but I'm like, are you kidding me? You have Dead Rising. Why are we not playing through Dead Rising, bitch? Uh, anyway. <laughs> because Fusion uh, <laughs> Frenzy is the only game where you can legally say, Oi, bash me Logan, every time you, like, run into it. <laughs> See what's what's funny is I don't think I ever played Fusion Frenzy. Actually, <laughs> oh, well, that, that guy was an asshole. Anyway, you know whatever. I, I I was I was that friend who went over to other friends' house to play their games at that at that rate in that <laughs> junction of our friendship. Um, but anyway, uh, in, in in the months leading up to Dead Rising Two, there was so much hype. I, and I, I don't know if you recall, but Kaiji Anafane directed a limited series that he posted. Uh, to the my, the Xbox Live uh, shop, I don't know if it, I don't remember if it cost me Microsoft points or not, but I remember watching all of them and it was trash, which was great. <laughs> that just kind of fits with like every extended media Dead Rising thing, right? Because you watched the other two yeah. movies, right? Or the the two oh, movies, right? Oh yeah, the the movies that were direct to crackle. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, I, re I remember like shopping like my brother and i were going shopping and you were watching this and you were like live <laughs> live messaging me just how shitty this movie was i need to rewatch them they were they were bad they were they were bad in a way that i feel represents most fans of strictly dead rising 2 and 3 like it, it perfectly encapsulates the american perspective of dead rising in a way that further strengthens my opinion that the first game is the best <laughs> In such an interesting way. I don't know. I, I, pr I appreciate them f in their shitness for doing such a thing, I guess. They were, yeah, I, I'm remembering the second one more than the first and how, like, shitty, tropey zombie bullshit it was. But now, honestly, at this stage, with, like, the shit that's pumped out to Netflix in terms of zombie content... It might be a solid, solid seven at this point, because there's a lot of fucking garbage out there. And this is me speaking as a massive fan of the zombie genre. Since like fucking fifth, fifth or fourth grade, I've been obsessed with zombies. I think I used to, I used to be like really into zombies, but like it, just like with most everything, I just, I just don't have any <laughs> interest anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that interest has definitely waned, especially at a point when I realized, like, maybe it was just anxiety that I was fantasizing about zombies busting into my house at any given moment. <laughs> like, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> fucking uh, uh, humor those thoughts constantly. So but that's that, why you get into those zombie movements. Oh, um, yeah, honestly, I, uh, yeah, just the, the sur there's something really fun about the shit is going down survival -y aspect of a zombie media i really enjoy like specifically the first like 20 minutes of um the dawn of the dead remake i think capture my vibes really well about zombie media just like shit hitting the fan and it's really intense and like yeah i don't know there's something really unique about that as a, as the zombie genre provides because like zomboid players like really into project zomboid players are all about like the eventually i will grow crops and i will survive in the wilderness and this is what i want and like i'm seeing all the updates to project zomboid are like okay well we got the guy from minecraft now and he's going to be working on procedurally generated wilderness boundaries so you can go outside of the city and it's more and more wilderness and it'll it'll we want to keep the city areas like uh handcrafted but the the nature can be procedurally generated and i'm like that's so fucking boring i just want to replay the same like first week of shit going down over and over again i don't uh, know uh, also i just want to give an update 
Uh, so since I didn't skip the immediate first cutscene, I am doing the Terror's Reality segment. Oh. So yeah, here's okay, Terror's I, Reality. So if you want to scroll down, you'll see that I've not left a comment, and I've, I've, I've typed it up, don't you worry, but I deleted it. <laughs> so uh, if you type first in the comments, just know deep in your heart with this, with this fact coming at you right now, I did type something first, and I posted it first. I've just deleted it because it's now not relevant. So don't even bother typing first at the, at the comments there. <laughs> You don't need to worry about it. I already did it for you, so. Yeah, so in case you guys ever really wanted to just drive a motorcycle uh, across like a basketball uh, court, just going one way, turning around, going the other way. Uh, th this you is probably what it looks got a like. local park. And I was a zombies. local park. Go, uh, go on the Facebook Marketplace. Look, look, look for any like dirt bikes that people might be selling. Stop by your local Home Depot. Get like a four pack of duct tape and a couple chainsaws, and then just go to your local park. There's probably some kids running around. They don't have like baubles on their heads or anything like that, but just like give them a good scare, you know. It's like people people love being scared by chainsaw wielding <laughs> maniacs. I gotta say though, I'm really glad that this like victory cutscene is way quieter than the fucking initial cutscene because that cutscene was really really loud. Like oh, you were really? talking about Zomboy, and I was like, <laughs> I can't hear it like say it right now because Damn. I'm just hearing TK go like. Uh, uh. Uh, okay, never. The joke's gone. I was, I, I was not. I was on the reverb thing, but uh, yeah. Wait, what do you mean a better ride, bitch? I came in first. The tight if curves. You're guess ever what? Really gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Win back. Right, that's what he says. Yeah, he's supposed to being pissed off about uh, Tweedledum and Tweedle shit. <laughs> Tweedle dick and Tweedle balls. Hmm, okay. Uh, I can't tell if like the the fireworks that were in front of the camera were like rendering at a faster speed than the models, but I think it's impossible because it's pre-rendered. Also, yeah, yes, you know Chuck Green, the psychopath-looking man with a ninja outfit in the oh, fucking yeah. green room. <laughs> I forgot we'd have our uniforms. <laughs> I should probably change up my look. I want to I want to put together the the worst fucking outfit <laughs> with all those pieces. I like how this TV is just way too quiet now. But whatever, who cares? Mike Staclasa on this on TV, news reporter. You know how it is. Mike Staclasa? He's okay. in Dead Rising 2? Yeah, man, it's crazy. <coughs> oh, man, then we have the gratuitous ass shot of Stacy Forsyth. Oh, yeah. Did they tone that down for off the record? I forget. I don't remember. They, they really, I mean, they focused more on Rebecca as the interest to Chuck, Chuck to, to Frank, which makes sense with the whole reporter camaraderie but man i still really like off the record more than two <laughs> it's just you know i can't hate frank west there's more shit to do why are we playing this and not replaying off the record again <laughs> yeah why aren't we just playing dead rising four why aren't we just playing dead yeah dead rising three <laughs> might as well dude okay so back when when mike and i played dead rising three uh, besides the fact that there was a hilarious clip, which I I wonder if I still have saved somewhere of uh, the fucking it's, like it's, megaphone it's, thing. Yeah, it's backed up somewhere. I you agree, and your yeah. your banana hammock getting launched <laughs> off of a building. But just like the, uh, the the whole aspect of like using the Microsoft Smart Glass and having like that whole oh yeah like phone side quest thing, just to, like find it those stashes. It was just a standalone app. I don't think it was a Smart Glass something or other. At least for me, I had it on like my iPod, and we connected it to your Wi-Fi, so it worked when I brought my Xbox One over to play this locally. Man, the classic that, shit. I do really miss... I, I feel like there was other games that had integrated apps. And I, I don't think I'm just thinking about like Fallout 4 having like a Pip-Boy app, but like the era of the integrated app was really interesting. I do like that that effort being put into games. Even though it's, it's like it's like inaccessible to to most, really. Yeah. So, so sorry you're saying that. I'm just watching one of the uh, ladies with the most exaggerated hip swings I've ever seen in my life. Like that cannot be comfortable to even just do that intentionally. <laughs> Kaiji enough, and they don't care. At, at a certain point, it goes from like being sexy to just being clown shoes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, to further your point, uh, yeah, that that like that era of like the early to mid 
Xbox One, PS4 generation. Well, I guess more specifically focusing on the Xbox One. They, they, there was always just those little fucking apps. It's like, oh, like little like extended things, and I, I doubt any of those things really work anymore. Now that no, I think about it. Yeah, probably not. I'm pretty sure I've uninstalled the Dead Rising app. Otherwise, it would be worth looking at. <laughs> That I'm, it was like three devices ago, and this is me using my device until I cannot plug it into a data cable anymore, and all my data is lost. You know, using my phone as long as it can possibly last. I just got a phone, and it's already like feeling really weak. It's oh no! Really, it really sucks. And I, I did the thing where I bought the phone, and I think I had it sitting around for like half a year, like I did with my computer and shit. <laughs> I, I did that, but you know, half a half a year shouldn't be so bad. It's it's only like three versions older now, I think. I don't know. No one's dying. I don't want to think about how I spent eight hundred dollars on the phone that's three editions old, <laughs> when I could have just spent two hundred dollars more to get the newest thing. But there's some things about the newest thing I didn't like, but now it doesn't matter because the old phone's decrepit and intentionally not working well because they don't want your phone working longer than two years. Also, yes. I guess it's because I, I did do a, a little break free animation. Uh, I will just apologize in advance, dear viewer, that I am using the loudest controller known to man, which is the Xbox Series controller. Nothing about this controller is discreet. Every single button on this thing, besides maybe the triggers, makes a really loud noise for no real reason. We play it loud. Wasn't was that a Nintendo campaign <laughs> at some point? Maybe. <laughs> I think that was when they were rolling out the like Nintendo, like the Game Boy colors and all the vibrant hues. And they're just like play it loud. Peak like late nineties. Oh no, Nintendo. not the zombie! Don't you come near me and my daughter. I will kick you. Uh, see you later, Erwin. Thanks oh, for your on. sacrifice, idiot. Oh, J Boy. Jeremiah is dead. Oh, you could have saved him. You uh, could have saved every single one of these people if you were just better at the game. Look, I, the the savior complex doesn't kick in until the other Chuck is here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah, this. Uh, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I've played through Dead Rising 2 in its many iterations so many more times than I've played through Dead Rising 1, but for some reason I feel like I know the ins and outs of 1 more than I do 2. To this day, I don't think I've ever, like, found all of the survivors and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I know that you are definitely probably more of a fan than Dead Rising 1 than I am. I know I, like, I played the shit out of this game. Right. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, I never... I never really beat Dead Rising 1, like, originally. I don't think I beat it until, like, the, the remaster came out. Because, like, I would just play that shit, like, fail immediately and just run around the mall killing stuff and then getting mad when the cultists showed up and they would just throw <laughs> pocket sand at me and then, uh, you know, I'd be naked. Fair enough. Frustrating. I do recall you got the, uh, you got the, like, collector's edition of this game, right? Or you got the shit for free from GameStop. I remember you were, yes. you were in, in school writing people prescriptions on a Zombrex, like, doctor pad. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, as you do when you're in high school and, you know, don't have a job, jobless behavior of just sitting in a GameStop looking at games that you can't buy. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it transpired, but yeah, I remember one of the, the clerks there, like, gave me and one of our friends uh is like the contents of the collector's edition or whatever of dead rising 2. it's like I, I still have that art book it's it's on my shelf behind me oh hell yeah yeah, yeah i had like, yeah, like the zombrex like notepad and yeah i would just write prescriptions and shit i think i wrote some for like a teacher too because like they were a fan <laughs> of dead rising i remember like oh, they like really? put it like above their door or something for a while wow uh, that's awesome I think there was, I don't know if there was a pen. I remember there was like a third thing, but I, I didn't I have do, that. I, I do think there, oh, you didn't have a pen? I thought, I thought there was a pen. Yeah, man, I think, I think that was the friend that got that. Or like, that kept it rather. Gotcha. You know, I wonder how the GameStop's doing nowadays. <laughs> That's a really good question. That, I mean, that GameStop had one of the biggest releases for fucking Skyrim of anyone in the U.S. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking wild. That it's probably, like, defunct. <laughs> <laughs> it's an existing condition? Yeah, man. He was born with it. Don't worry. I've got Zombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot. Because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't oh. three days. Don't be such a sourpuss, Mr. Cop Man. Yeah, the reserves will already Liam Neeson. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. Yeah, do you remember how <laughs> Liam Neeson was your dad in Fallout 3? I do. I do remember. Crazy how for like two releases in a row, they're like, okay, we seen like this like really big star power like really early on. I guess Fallout 3, it does remember, go a bit more. Remember how Captain Picard died at the beginning of Oblivion? <laughs> I do. I, I, well, yeah, I, I definitely remember that. And then, you know, I got smart and started saving before I left the sewer and then never washed it again. Until I had to like oh, really? remake a fresh save on like a, a new install of like my PC or something. Or, you know, just immediately install the alternate star mod. <laughs> Have you ever beat that game? Oblivion? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been Oblivion plenty of times. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I, I just, you know. Better yeah, ways didn't... to play it. Well, yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, I haven't beat it recently because I, I get too sidetracked doing stuff. You gotta find the Honda motorcycle mods. Yeah. The lore friendly Yamaha mods and, uh, the classic accessorize or die. See, so I have the infinite <laughs> rings mod. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I forgot about that. You let me worry about that. Okay? What is going on with your neck, Chuck? That is not right. <laughs> like, I'm no stranger to like fucked up necks. You know, I just came off playing Persona 3 Reload, and some of those characters, you should not be able to see their necks in the ways you can, and, like, they just look weird. Just long-ass necks, but, like, man, whatever Chuck had going on, not okay. Do you know a way out of here? No. Why did my door just blow open? It's me. A ghost. Right, it's almost time for you to join it, by the way. Uh, Stacy's explaining cool. closed circuit cameras to me right now. Well, you, you've never covered wars, you know, so it'd be impossible for you to understand the concept of CCTV. <laughs> Keep an eye on my daughter, okay? You mean like it's a fucking spectator sport over there? Spectate what? I'm just looking at my join game settings. <clears throat> Right, you know, my daughter's pulling out the PSP to play Mega Man 7 or something. Yeah. I think you, you pinpointed exactly which Mega Man she was playing at one point. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is Mega Man 7. Cool. Oh, yes, co-op. That's what I'm here for. All right, let's get connected. Oh, yeah, so uh, one of the many fun quirks of Dead Rising 2. Uh, sometimes you just cannot connect to each other when you're in the safe house, so you have to go to the mall to uh, connect. Let's go find Katie some Zombrex, shall we? I know, I know you wanted to change your clothes. We'll just uh, do a little sweep yeah. of the mall real quick. That's fine. Because I know where some Zombrex is, and I, I have a good feeling about about my memory. Oh, fuck off. Any updates? Uh, yeah, you can just talk all you want, lady. I'm just going to cut you off. And then cry and piss when it probably just you call me again to tell me this stuff. Good. Yeah, this is the best part too about playing with a new game is like not being locked out of uh, the combinations immediately. Hell you yeah. can just fucking go and do it. Ooh, real quick, though, I gotta make this sledgehammer fire axe thing. Well, is it the, not the pulverizer, is it? Uh, pulverizer, yeah. The rectal reamer. <laughs> rectal reamer. Oh, so few zombies compared to what we were just dealing with in our uh, <laughs> testing. Day three this game works. testing. Yeah, that's how it works. The zombies accumulate over Was time. Was there always Playboy advertisements in this game? Yes. Yes. Okay, I don't remember that. Neither do I. <laughs> I forgot about stumbling after using the uh, the alt fire or whatever the the strong attack. 
Oh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Knife spotted. Give me that. Need that one for later. I found a knife too. It's a really long one. <laughs> Alright, let, let's see how long it takes me to get to the Zombrex up here. That's like, that's like the hardest part of going back to this is always just going to be trying to uh, fight. Parkour. Yeah, fighting with parkour. It's also like oh, there's a there was a Bowie knife on the counter, bro. It's mine now, though. Well, I feel like this is much easier uh, on a computer when you have 120 FPS as opposed to playing on a PS3 at like maybe 30 oh, that's, FPS. That's fucking true. Yeah, Zombrex. We gotta give Zombrex to our daughter between 7 and 8 a.m. every day. Don't oh, you forget oh. it. Battle. Was this a bargaining one? Oh, I gotta find the skateboard magazines. Oh, see, I'm, I'm fairly sure that on this save I should have all the cars unlocked. I'm, I'm really hoping I do anyways because that'll make things a lot easier. Oh, look, at, look at this. Look at this Chuck covering himself in some green. You know what I'm saying? Vomited all over myself in the excitement of winning $370. That's huge. Life-changing amount of money. I could buy a house with that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I could afford a tenth of rent for a month. Okay, so there should be. Oh, wait, this, I don't think there's one out here. No. Uh, not that I recall. Right. Like maybe in one of those weird rooftop areas, but not that I can recall. Speaking of weird rooftop areas, I'm fairly certain the sniper rifle. Oh, there's just an LMG up here. Don't mind if I fucking do. That's okay, I'll take the cardboard box. <laughs> Did you not get the LMG or the whatever from back there? There was an LMG in that area. Uh, I did uh, up in the like up in the center oh. or whatever. Oh my god. You got hit by a ghost. You took the gems, I got the flashlight. Yeah, I, I have a flashlight of my own. Oh, okay. So I don't know where I'm going. Um, oh, a Psycho magazine. What does this one do? Get a 25% boost from defeating Psychos. Don't mind if I just pocket that for a second, I guess. You know what I don't like about this game is that unless you intentionally jump off of a thing, you can't, like, go into an elbow <laughs> drop or something like that. Yeah. Probably intentional and by design, but I'm still annoyed regardless. <laughs> God, yeah, fuck. I feel like the other day when we were talking about doing this, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, Zombrex, I think I remember a lot. I think I've forgotten most of those, and I just recalled the one that we got up there and then the one in the other casino. Okay, because I remember the one up there, and then I remember the one in the underground, and those are the only ones I ever, like, had to get, you know what I mean? Ooh, golf cart spotted. Let me just yoink this and have this break by the time I get to you. This is the quietest golf cart I've ever heard in my damn life. Oh my god. Aw. Uh, oh well. <laughs> All the effort to make it. It's gone now. Your driving is uh, atrocious on my end. Oh yeah, that's the classic <laughs> Dead Rising 2 uh, driving when co-op. On my end, I'm fine, but I'm sure on your end, I'm just crashing into walls and we're just teleporting. Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> oh my god. Can't even see what it looks like. It's been a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> oh, the zombie got some air. Not on my end, I'm getting cheated out of some good laughs. Hey, good thing we crashed right outside the casino thing with the Humvee. I guess this is going to be a test. Do I have this? I don't have it? Damn. That's unfortunate. Does it carry over from no, new it, saves? No, it does, but I guess I don't have it here. Oh. I, I think in off the record I have it. Maybe right. not in this. That might make sense. I didn't cheat hard enough to 
buy all that stuff, I guess. I mean, what? <gasps> Don't say the C word. Cuckoo. <laughs> the last thing you hear before you get your limbs ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> Cuckoo. The fucking Cocoa Puffs bird is at it again. Sorry, are you waiting on me? I'm yeah. collecting my CDs. It's fine, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Ow! Wait, oh God, snowflake, snowflake already? Yeah. Snowflake hungry. Fucking massive fist. Or oh, palm. God, yeah, so we, we kill this guy, right? And then we just we, we leave little Schmeet for the kitty. No, nope. we leave Schmeet without without getting too close. Looks like he's made out of clay. <laughs> he does look like a human version of uh, Earl from Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> or Toe Jam, whichever the big one is. Kind of looks like uh, Kyle Gass, too. Ever so slightly. Well, sure. <laughs> but that's just, you know, being fat and bald. To do it to you. <laughs> just the two things you need to be Kyle Gass. Not mentioning the, the third being uh, talent. Yes. Let's not understate guy. Can't Kyle you see Gassi he's the time. man? Let me hear you applaud. Exactly. He is more than a man. He's a fucking golden god. <laughs> People not been very good to me. You saying Toe Jam and Earl though makes you want to play Toe Jam and Earl. I've not played Toe I've Jam never Earl played. Either. I'm only familiar with like the one song and the reference to Planet on Funkotron. Uh, uh, planet, yeah, Planet, Planet on Funkotron. Is that the name uh, of that game? Panic on yeah, Funkotron. Panic on Planet Funkotron. Call me Ted. That's good. You don't have to do this, Ted. We just need don't to say slow it. down and turn <laughs> this over, right? You just need to slow <laughs> down. Let me see you run, buddy. Let's see how fast you are, then. This game just this game does not present psychopaths as well as the first game. No, I'm just I'm just I'm reminded of uh, what's his name in Sean's food stuff. Just the I don't allow vandalism in my store and all the effects that were going on and like the the insane camera work is just so good. And this is just like a still photo of this man beating himself over the head. It's like there's so much vision in the first game. I don't know. I'm a I'm a bitch about. <laughs> oh. All right, don't worry. This bitch is dying. <laughs> Watch out! You're gonna eat my cat. Damn. Thanks, lightsabers. I mean, legally I can distinct see down his shirt. sword. <laughs> there's like a there's like a half inch gap between his chest and his his uh, wife beater. He has no body underneath that. Snowflake. Why would they just not join up the mesh? Is now another thing I'm thinking. Come, Video games are weird. Oh yeah, I, 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 I'm seeing that now as he's crawling along. Yeah. Like he's not gonna have new clothes on him or anything like that. Like why not just like bind those pieces together? I guess maybe the the map on it is weird. Like he has a skin map and they wanted a separate object for his clothes. I don't know. I, I only half know how all this shit works. Just for you, kitty. Cause he's got high quality in the fucking arm hair, but his clothing is such low quality. Kitty. It's very weird. Time for supper. We could also probably just chalk it up to, uh, <laughs> you know, early just... 2010s PC port. Yeah. Okay, hello kitty. Don't eat me. Eh. Bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot. That fucking psychopath music is so good in this game. True. It was all, uh... Cell Dweller? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! I'm, I mean I like this cat. 
Uh, you just uh, hold fast. I'm gonna go get the the Zombrex from up here. Oh god. There's no Zombrex up there. Yeah, That's there where is. the LMG is. It's both up there. Oh shit. At least uh, I thought I was. Where the fuck is it, huh? The LMG's not even up there unless you grabbed it. I didn't. Am I, am I getting robbed? Mm. Oh, yeah, shotgun. <laughs> the fucking police zombie. There's a pitchfork up here. You can make the best combo weapon in the game with those. Yes. I disagree, actually. I really uh, hate the pitchfork it, it, is, it is really good for, like, getting PP. For, like, grinding PP. Because yes. it does a lot. But, yeah, it's outside of that, it is kind of dog shit, yeah. Like, I don't think you can actually aim it and use it as a shotgun once you've attached a pitchfork to it. Yeah, I don't think I, you can. I always thought that was bogus. But it was also like the combo weapon that they use in advertising the game and shit, from what I recall. I, I'm just I, like, damn. I thought it was the uh, the paddle chainsaw. Well, yeah, yeah, the paddle saw is like the first and foremost for sure. Okay, there we go. Finally, got a got one whole stake. Oh, there's like five back here. That just oh yeah, they're they're in the enclosure, right? So I, I went through like the yeah. back. Where is Snowflake? Another I, excellent I don't, question. I don't, oh, uh, over see, by I, center. I don't, I don't think I can accurately... Oh. I don't think I can do this mission because of the desync issues, so... Um, I threw a stake somewhere. <laughs> Where did oh, it go? Oh, I just go? hit the cat with the stake. Nice. That's that's not how you feed him. Right. Where are you, you anchor him. Me? Yeah, do you got stakes on you, or are these are still just laying no, they're just they're just hanging out in the, the, the steps. There's one here, and two over Trying. here. Uh-oh. Wow, up? there was more here, but they despawned? I didn't eat them, did I? Oh god, I can eat... Don't eat me! <laughs> eat a nice juicy cow! Uh, that's, that's, that's a zombie, not a cow. <laughs> just keep smacking this cat in the head with a fucking steak. Hey, idiot! Don't get your fucking food! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, don't worry about it. Alright, this, this, this cat's not going for the steak. It keeps going for me instead. I am not a steak. Make no mistake. Alright, that's oh, yeah, right the There's a steak on the rock over here, too, in front of me. Alright, this should be the last it steak. It's gotta be. Sounded eat. like. Uh, yeah, I, th I think when we did off the record, I definitely played this on mouse and keyboard. And now I'm playing mm -hmm. this on controller for some reason. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to have to learn all the fucking keybinds for <laughs> all the special moves. This will just kind of come back naturally. Yeah. Fist bumps the tiger. All right, let's bring back our daughter, a little kitty kitty. Oh, spray it with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's called oh. uh, negative reinforcement. Do you see these uh, like tutorials? The, how pixely they are? Yeah, I was say that is some like low quality shit. There's some JPEG. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I hope the cat was close enough. I think I think it was. Oh yeah, I guess that is a one, that is one thing about the first game go. that kind of sucks shit, isn't it? <laughs> I, as much as I defend the first game, yeah, the AI and uh, radiuses on people going through doors kind of fucking blows. Yeah. Did they fix that with the uh, remake at all? No, they, they, I'm fairly certain they just they kept that completely faithful. Yeah, I mean, that, I guess that would be the thing to do, but... Yeah, you, you, you would just get so much annoying, like, <laughs> so many annoying reviews, like, they, may, they changed the survivor AI and it's not faithful anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like up real good. <laughs> good job, my quadruped friend. 
I need to, I have like all the pieces to like five different combo weapons that are filling up my inventory. I need to stop into one stat. <laughs> Snowflake, why would you attack me, you fuck? Can we open this uh, already, the pharmacy? Uh, I don't see one. I mean, you got to you... get over here. Okay, give me two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> What time are we at? 5.40? We'll have enough time to save Denise, spelled uh, very weirdly. <clears throat> have this, this cat just going... <clears throat> in my fucking ear. Yeah. Hooligans. I guess they allow vandalism in this store. That's cool. Yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's what we call a fresh idea. Hey, I know you're holding out on us. Where's the money? Where's the safe? Ugh. Come on. Don't lie to me. We don't have a safe. Don't lie. Hey, dirtbag. Let the lady go. Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Exactly what I'm doing. I'm just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely going to need some painkillers when I'm done with you. No, no. See, Zombrex <laughs> is, isn't a painkiller. It's like it's for that infection thing. Yeah? What say you give me some money and I'll go get some for you? Yeah. Give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. Oh, if it ain't the blowjob, brothers. You got it. <laughs> Profusely bleed out of his head. He's not dying. Oh, I, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this, this game being less polished than off the records PC port. Uh, it's maybe a good thing. I agree. Oh, hey, it's, it's you me? grabbing it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's got the last hit on the guy. If we're, you're the savior who gets the keys. Cool. Hey, Denise, I got a cat with me. What's up? There's a safe house. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Is she Come still on. talking? Follow me. You or. or no, you... it says Chuck Fucker Nation. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> That's you. It's Fucker Nation? No, it's Fucker. <laughs> oh, what, what the? When the Z fighting is. Or is that just light flickering? Okay, it's just light flickering. Never mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not smart. <laughs> <laughs> I was never book smart. I'm money smart. Makes me more intelligent. Yeah. We are in the proper location for this <laughs> dialogue to be happening. I was never <laughs> oh, Snowflake, you can't just be attacking the fucking pharmacist like this. Oh my god. Let's go. Sure she can. Oh, Snowflake, get the fuck out of the car. <laughs> All right, Snowflake. Snow I Snowflake, getting <laughs> shotgun. Let's go. No, it is Denise, but uh, Snowflake did run into the front of the car and get hit a little bit. It's, it's, it's Snowflake is what we call Snowflake running. Snow fucked. <laughs> Good luck, Snow fucked. Just, you know, more Cell Dweller references. Oh. This is a Cell Dweller song called Good Luck, You're Fucked. It's a banger. I'm more of a life seeker kind of guy. <laughs> burn out, burn out. It's Frank. <laughs> this is the wrong song entirely. Come on, let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm waiting, buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. <laughs> I had to make two knife gloves while I while I was waiting for the pharmacist's dialogue. I happen to have a couple Bowie knives, so I just took the time to make the most important weapon. Dude, I gotta get some gloves. Roar. <laughs> uh oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Looks what like the, the bombs are, are dropping already. What the hell tiger into my safe house? <laughs> Where'd you find him? Never mind, I don't wanna know. I killed someone for the cat. <laughs> I like how it's you talking to him, too. I With don't know why. With your fucking ketchup mustard-looking ass. Yeah, exactly. 
Right, we have 50 minutes before we have to feed our daughter Zombrex. <laughs> She's got two dads. A ninja cowl. Psycho mask. That's sick. Smooth. This is. Oh, you went the same route. I was like, Whatever, ninja I'll, I'll cowl, psycho I'll mask. <laughs> Yo, uh, a sports fan. No, I had the. No, I'll, I'll change. I'll change. That's that's a good ninja, look you got right there. I'll psycho. I'll uh, I'll change this up. Sports fan. Fuck a sports fan shirt. I'll do psycho shirt and then ninja. I the sport. Okay, so I think I have everything. Sports fan ninja <laughs> psycho. <laughs> I fucking get on my thing and you just have a, a fucking traffic cone right in your face. Soldier. There we go. Killer. There we go. <laughs> Look at this working reflections. Crazy. That is. Yeah, that, that, the, I think one of the craziest things about Persona 3 Reload is the fact that it just has ray traced reflections for some reason. Damn. And you can tell when there's a ray trace, like there's like a reflection in a scene because your frame rate just kind of goes down. Uh -huh. Like I'll be, I'll be like at a locked 120 and then it's like, and we're down to like 80 maybe. And like anything on like a second monitor starts kind of like skipping frames. Ooh. But it's used to good effect at least. It's still just weird that it's in there. Warning, how to doing? identify and oh, we're just hanging out, that's right. Isn't there a survivor hanging out by the food court at this point, or no? Oh, there may... The one that, like, uh, her husband's just, like, oh, hanging no, out a second we, we, away. We would have we seen them when we were coming back, wouldn't we? We just we were, like, right there. Maybe. We would have at least had, like, the text. I mean, whatever, it's 635. It's not going to take very long just to go walk out here and check. Oh yeah, wow. I mean, I, I was in, I've been in this plaza for so much time and I haven't even done the little jumping thing to get to that one, like, apartment building or whatever the fuck. That window. Oh yeah. That's got a, that's got a sniper in it. Oh, there we go, yeah. Yeah. Here now. Okay. What up, LaShondra? I'm gonna go find Gordon. Hello? We're waiting for you, Gordon. Hello? In the test chamber. Now you got it. Stay close. <laughs> My car doesn't start to live. <laughs> I can change that. <laughs> Connection to the Clyde has been lost. Gameplay was continued with single player. Really? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I won't have any of my items, if I recall correctly. That's how this works. It might have just like all dumped on the shit. floor. <sighs> yeah, it's on the floor. It's on the floor right there. Oh, thank good. fuck. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, that ma that man was not frozen on my screen, so I, I put I put a, a, a traffic cone on a perfectly normal. God damn it! Wrong hat. <laughs> I put a Looking traffic cone cool, on a perfectly Chuck. normal zombie, and he exploded into frozen guts. That was uh, something else. All right, you got your stuff. Yes. All right, let's roll. Yeah, I, I remember because uh, that used to be a strategy. Uh, you would duplicate. Uh, like gambling books uh, in a co-op session so you would get a sh like you'd have really good luck and get a shit ton of money really easily oh yeah how does that duplicate though because like so you would find them in, in like the host players world or whatever and then the the client would find them in their world bring them over drop them off and then you would just do that okay it was something it was something close to that sure Thanks, LaShondra and Gordon. Have fun sitting here, and hopefully you won't have a mutiny when some weird pervert guy wants to come in here or something. Oh, oh boy. Minute away. <laughs> it's my daughter! <laughs> Katie! Oh, shit. You combat rolled harder. I just love that we just let a tiger sit next to our daughter. Hey, Snowflake's cool. I told you I'd get some... <laughs> I look like I'm part of like a really shitty new metal band. Yeah. Like, or a like local sleep token new metal band. I'm just it's just sleep token, I think. I think that's what it looks sure like. Are daddy's girl. 
Heck, his dog tags are poking out of the ninja cow. You know, when I, when I think of PSP Mega Man, I think of uh, the, the remake of Mega Man 1, Powered Up. Uh, yeah. That was, that was a game. <laughs> Weird ass art style. Yeah. Huh. Oil Man and Time Man or something. Oh, oh, they, oh they, they, they added up to eight instead of just the original? Yeah. Whatever. Interesting. You know, I see this coffee carafe, and as I was leaving my job today, I saw like a sticker on the back of a car that said Pothead and had a wow. coffee thing on it. What is up with people and their live, laugh, love ass, like, aesthetics? Like, they need to represent themselves with coffee puns, and I don't know. It just seems so boring to me. Must be nice to live like that, I, I'm saying, really. I'm just jealous, and I'm being a bitch about it. What? <laughs> Yeah, I know how that goes. Being earnest in, in this day and age, not me. Just enjoying little things like that and enjoying them enough to make them your personality. I just have to be so a we're, bitter we're fuck. Just like, we're just weird fuckers playing Dead Rising 2 right now. <laughs> Could be enjoying American Idol or something. <laughs> do you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. <laughs> Guy that looks like this, not responsible. What possible reason? God, I was supposed to live this, and I don't do this shit. Why are they saying you're part of Why do you have leprosy? You're slathered in green. <laughs> After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. Like, don't slam a table and you look like that, Chuck Green. Yeah. It's not the first time I would not feel safe around this man. <clears throat> it's so weird how normal Stacy looks compared to off the record. Yeah, her fucking HD texture fucking model. You sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove Can we bring Stacy to a certain bathroom where another cure member is hanging out right now? Just see she see what she she gets out of that deal. I need to find out where she got. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. This music, what the fuck? I don't want her to worry. I don't I don't remember it ever going this hard, honestly. Or maybe I'm just like noticing shit about the music, but those like those synth, not not specific. Yes, it is a synth, but whatever whatever fucking sampley shit was happening, was a uh, quality, good sounds. Sorry, Sullivan, I just fucking ignored your ass. <laughs> 